So good morning. Thanks for showing up for Yoga Church this morning. Um, we are working with a new uh, theme this week. Um, some of you might know about the gunas, which are the three forms uh, that everything in the world takes. So let me just kind of break this down semi-quickly for you. There's two uh, distinctions of, of things in the world <laughs> according to yoga philosophy. There is parusha and prakriti. Purusha is the, uh, it literally means that which dwells within, and it is the aliveness or the consciousness or the awareness, it is the observer, it is the divine. It's formless, timeless, and exists beyond uh, time or space or form. The second uh, form is Prakriti, and it is changing, it is temporary, it is manifested, so it has form, it exists in time, and in that second category of prakriti, which is everything we experience uh, from our bodies to the world around us, to what happens in the senses, um, to temporary thoughts of the mind, consciousness, um, personality, identity, those kinds of things, that category uh, of prakriti is broken down into three um, categories within that, and these three qualities describe all manifested form, and those are called the gunas, and that's kind of our theme for this week. So these three gunas are tamas, rajas, and sattva, and each one of these qualities uh, exists in all things. Uh, sometimes things are more one than the other, um, but all things go through a cycle of these three qualities. So Tamas, uh, tamasic energy is slow moving, it's heavy, it's dense, um, it is slow to change, um, it's a little bit more consistent. Sometimes it's even, some of its negative attributes might be sluggishness or um, depression, uh, but it's not always negative. All of these qualities have both positive and negative um, impacts, so tamasic positive qualities might be consistency um, or stability. So that's tamas, tamasic energy. It is solid, consistent, stubborn, stuck. Um, it, is, it describes sleep and rest. Um, it's thick, it's sometimes stagnant, um, and it, it sort of describes inertia uh, in physics. So the second of those three is rajas or rajistic energy. And this is the exact opposite of tamasic energy. It's fast moving, it's um, thin, it's constantly changing, it's inconsistent. Um, it is ungrounded sometimes, um, it's hyperactive, it's more formless. Um, if tamasic energy would be a solid, rajistic energy would be more like a gas. So slightly more formless. Um, manic, dynamic, changing, active, um, and in a state of like constant movement or constant change, constant, um, uh, I guess, form changing or, or like shape shifting. Um, and then the third of these guna qualities is sattva. And sattva is different than these two opposites because it is the balance between the two. So sattvic energy, if tamasic energy is solid and rajistic energy is gas, sattvic energy would be liquid. So it has qualities of both. Um, it's stable, um, it's balanced, it is harm uh, harmonious, um, it's grounded dynamism, so it's grounded but it's also able to change, it's flexible. Um, it's like a sense of appropriate um, rest and activity, sort of the balance between the two. So it's not hyperactive and manic, but it's not sluggish and um, slow. It's sort of a balance between those two things. Um, and let's see, what else? Sort of the um, intention and uh, intention based action and effortless action. Um, so the kinds of things that we feel are, are uh, easy for us to do or natural for us to do are more this sattvic energy. And so sattva represents balance. So what we're going to try to do through our practice today is embody these three qualities by taking the same or similar pose or similar movement of the spine in each of these three styles. So we'll have kind of our slow um, stillness poses for Thomas more quick and dynamic action, more vinyasa type flow for rajas, and then trying to strike a balance between those
things to find a sattvic energy for, for these poses. So yeah, let's jump in and, and explore the gunas. Um, we're going to take uh, our first pose just as a sattvic pose, um, just finding a comfortable seat on the mat. And to make it balanced, we're going to first uh, find that groundedness in our hips like we usually do when we start class, but also find just a small amount of movement. So maybe rocking the body side to side, maybe a little cat-cow or a little orbit of the heart around the spine in each direction. So we have that element of movement as well as that element of groundedness and stillness, that intentional action. And then we'll take a little pause and see how much stillness, stability, and um, slowness we can find to embody tamasic energy. So we have that steadiness, that um, less likely to change, that stability in our hips. And we could intentionally here sort of slow the breath, slow the heartbeat, and come into a place of stillness and um, lacking of movement. And just observe here from that consciousness, from that parusha state, this new form of prakriti. Then we'll begin to bring some Registic energy or more active movement to our practice. So bring your hands down alongside you on the mat and we'll just start to bring our arms into some um, movement with our breath. So we can begin to deepen and stoke the breath up a little bit here. And we'll start to warm up both the shoulders and the spine. So take a nice big inhale and get long. As you exhale, lean a little into that left hand. And then as you inhale, we'll just start to find some big wide circles with the right arm. So kind of coming behind the body, also forward and to the left. And just kind of make some big sort of helicoptering circles with that right arm and hand. We might even squeeze and release the fingers as we do this. This is a lot of activity and a lot of coordination but this sort of represents that more dynamic energy of rajas. Maybe make two more of these quick circles, kind of stoking up your breath a little bit, and then take a little pause back in that tamasic stillness. We might feel a sattvic balance now in our breath and our heartbeat. We're in a still place, but we have sort of that residue of our activity. Then let's find that rigistic energy on the other side. Big inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, lean into the right arm a little bit. And then start your big helicoptering circles with your left hand. And again, once you kind of get that motion down, coming both forward and back in the spine, we might grip the fist and then open the fingers. So we have a lot of activity happening. Maybe two or three more of these big circles. Notice how just this active, fast movement is stoking the heart. Feel the circulation and the heat starting to build up in your shoulder. And then we'll again pause in a sattvic place where we're still, but we still have that active movement in the heart and the lungs and the breath. Start to bring your hands behind your body and we'll just lean back into the hands for a moment to free our legs from their crossed position. Soles of the feet can come to the floor and we're just gonna roll down into a, um, onto the, uh, the back in a supine position, but we're gonna again try this in a couple of different ways. So um, part of what we're doing as we explore the gunas is looking for the places where our life is really rajistic in, in nature and other places where it might be more tamasic in nature and seeing if we can um, balance that out and bring more of our life into that sattvic energetic place. So one way to come down to the spine would be a really active rajistic way of taking those kundalini rolls along the length of the spine 
and then eventually coming to a supine shape. And a more tamasic way to do this might be to have that little cat arch, reach the hands forward, and then take a very slow recline. So that might be more like letting the heart move through space from that upright seat down to the floor as if you were moving through very thick liquid, slowing you down, feeling the heaviness of your body as you finally come down and relax into the floor. So once you're in that supine position, make any adjustments that you need to to your spine to feel nice and aligned. And then from that place, we're just going to lift the feet off the floor and just draw the knees slightly in towards the chest. So just nice and soft in a sattvic way. Just not too much force, not too much activity, just letting the belly be sort of soft rather than engaged here. Arms can be either out wide um, or maybe in that little T-shape or a goalpost or cactus arm shape. And we'll start by finding a logistic um, <laughs> movement from side to side or around in a circle. So just allowing yourself to stay pretty soft through the belly. Start to make some little quick circles. Maybe starting uh, a little bit more small in your circles and moving quickly. And then kind of bringing the knees out into wider and wider circles as you come. But keep this pretty active. You can feel your whole body kind of shifting along the floor as you find this movement. Take a little pause and then reverse your direction again, maybe starting small in a little tight circle and coming out wider and wider. Pause when you come back to center. Adjust your spine as you need to. And then we're gonna try to find uh, just a sattvic balance of movement and stillness and then we'll move into a tamasic energy by just finding a still supine twist so for this sattvic balance we're going to balance our activity uh, with our stillness so start to bring your knees over to your right side maybe just a few inches feel your core engage a little bit so there's our activity but we have stillness in the legs come back to center as you inhale Exhale, come a little further to the right and pause. Maybe take a breath cycle or two. Feel engagement and activity in your core, stillness in your position. Inhale back to center. Exhale a little further to the right. See if you can hold, just kind of balancing on that right hip. Stillness in the body, but activity in your core. Come back to center. Adjust if you need to, and we'll find those same sort of active stillness on the left side. So just a few inches to the left and pause. See if you can kind of intentionally activate your core. That's that intentional activity. Inhale back to center. Exhale a little further to the left and pause. Inhale back to center. Exhale, drop a little deeper to the left. See if you can just kind of balance on that left hip active through your core so you can keep your breath intentional and smooth here inhale back to center now we're going to find that tamasic nature where we just find stillness so we might drop the feet back down to the floor briefly shifting the hips a little further to the left and then just slowly allowing your knees to fall to the right it might feel good to put some Kind of padding either between the knees or underneath your bottom knee here whether that's blankets or a little cushion of some kind then adjust your body so that both shoulders are relaxed on the mat you're not having to hold anything up then in a very tamasic way just like we did before as we came down to the floor nice and slow start to turn your nose toward the right shoulder then nice and slow toward the left then see if you can find a place somewhere between those two things to find a pause. When you find your stillness, begin that process again of slowing the breath. Feel the heaviness in both shoulders, the pelvis, feel the back of the head 
grounded, still, and consistent. Feel the solidness of your body and the inactivity of your muscles. Core muscles now soft and supple. Arms and hands soft. Breath slow. Three more long, slow inhales and exhales. Heavy, solid nature. Tomasic. At the end of your last breath here in this Tomasic twist to the right, Engage again, see if you can find a sattvic way of coming back to your center. If you shifted your hips, you might need to come back to center. And just take a little bit of that uh, sattvic movement, just a little bit of slow, semi-engaged, but gentle and balanced movement around to reset your spine and sacrum. And then we'll find our tamasic energy with knees falling to the left. So again, you might choose to shift your hips a little to the right, before shifting the knees to the left. Feel free to adjust your shoulders, to use any props or support. Find a place where you can find a stillness and a steadiness. Then again, take that little slow as if moving through a thick liquid. Nose turning from side to side before choosing a place to rest in stillness. Soften your muscles. Maybe even that top right hip starts to feel heavy and fall a little bit back towards the mat. Shoulders, pelvis, and head heavy and grounded. Everything's still. The breath's slow. Three more rounds of breath here. Then drawing knees back to center again when you're finished with your last cycle of breath. Reset your spine. And then we'll choose whether or not we'd like to balance ourselves out. So depending, kind of take a little self-reflection moment. What is your energy level like right now? Are you slow and sluggish on this Sunday morning? Are you feeling really active? Have you had enough coffee to be excited? Do you feel really balanced? And then let that guide your choice about how to come back up to a seated shape. So maybe we take that rocking and rolling to boost our tamasic energy. Maybe we take it nice and slow, rolling to one side to engage with um, tamasic energy to balance out any rigistic energy. But once we arrive back in our seat, we'll find uh, some back bending movement, some heart opening movement. So first to settle into an active rigistic energy, on our uh, exhales, we're just gonna stay here in our tall spine, so grounded through the hips, lifting and open, and then on our inhales, we're gonna take a nice big, giant heart forward, chin lift, shoulders back. So we're not full cat cow here. We're just kind of inhaling open, exhaling to neutral. And we can kind of quicken the breath. You might have guessed that this rigistic energy is also heat building. Uh, remembering that it relies more on that, that gas property as far as solid liquid gas. So heating creates gas and we're kind of in that motion. We're stoking up the breath. We kind of have that heat building in the shoulders and the belly. Three more. Pause, just maybe notice your heartbeat. Feel the heat building in your body from that rigistic action. 
Maybe you feel a little bit of um, gassiness or fogginess in the mind as our breath got really short, almost like a hyperventilation. And then we'll just take a sattvic balance of the back bend. We'll walk the hands behind the body a little bit and take a little bit slower breathing. Not too slow, but take, it. take a big inhale and lift. Exhale, soften and relax. Chin might drop a little to the chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften. This is a little bit more cat-cow-like. A balance of effort and ease. Two more. Rising back up to neutral. If you have either a yoga bolster or a couple of supports like um, bed pillows or couch cushions, something that you can use to lie back and support yourself, we're just going to take a stillness back bend now. Um, we might choose to open up the uh, knees and things like that too. So we're going to set ourselves up by bringing some kind of support behind your body. And then we have some choices about how we set up our legs before we lie back. Um, because tamasic energy is a little bit more solid and grounded, we might choose to just keep the soles of the feet on the floor and just let the knees fall together. If that's not comfortable for your body, I would recommend uh, letting your uh, heels be grounded in the floor and just kind of keeping a little space between your legs and just softening and relaxing all the muscles in the legs, a lack of activity. So once you've chosen your um, leg position, you just walk your body down alongside or on top of your support, whatever, you, whatever you're using. Hands can come outside uh, to the sides. I would recommend here just to engage with that tamasic energy, turning the palms downward here for that sense of grounding and consistency. It's a little bit more solid in the hands rather than letting the fingers be sort of soft and airy. So once you're down, slow your breathing again. Even slower than we have in our more sophic energy. Feel again that heaviness and solidness. Either the soles of your feet or your heels heavy in the floor and still. Pelvis heavy in the floor and still. Spine, back of the head and shoulders heavy and grounded, feeling gravity especially heavy in all of your bones with the upper body. Feel the solidness of your palms and fingers against the floor. Just take about three to five more very slow, relaxed breaths. As you come to the end of your breath cycles here, you can choose the way you come out depending on how your legs have fallen. You might bend at the knees, bringing the soles of the feet back to the floor if they're not already. You can choose to kind of slowly roll to one side and then press against the floor to rise. Or you can press into the floor beside you on either side of the bolster and lift yourself back up. Our pillows, our bolster, whatever support you're using can come to the side for a moment. We'll use it again in a moment. 
We're gonna swing the legs behind the body to come into a tabletop shape, so hands and knees. We're gonna take one more movement of the spine before coming to some standing poses. So resting the hands on the floor, knees on the floor, a nice flat back. Take a neutral sattvic balance here. So we're gonna feel the pelvis kind of heavy, like tailbone is pointing down just a little bit. And just through the shoulders and the back of the heart, we're gonna press into the hands and see if we can just create a little bit of activity and space in the shoulders as the shoulder blades pull gently away from the spine. Crown of the head is reaching straight in front of you. Nose is pointed down towards the floor. And then see if you can just lengthen the tailbone slightly behind you and down and lengthen the crown of the head slightly forward. So we have some stillness here, just like tamasic energy, but we have some activity and intentional action in uh, different parts of our body, like the pelvis and the shoulders, which makes this pose active as well, bringing us into a balance of that sattvic energy. We're gonna push into some cat arches. Just like we did seated, we're gonna go between cat arch and neutral rather than full cat cow. So on your exhales, we're gonna lift, so chin's gonna to come to chest, shoulders are gonna push up a little bit more, and pelvis is gonna tuck a little bit under the body. As we inhale, we're just gonna come into a neutral spine, and we're gonna do this kind of quick like a bellows, just like we did in our seated pose. So. Exhales, push up into cat. Inhale is neutral. Feel sort of the hyperactivity of this. You might start to begin to feel that lightheadedness as we get really active. Take about 10 more. into that sattvic stance, kind of feel the head swimming a little bit. Take a little pause. And then to rest the body, to come into rest after that strong activity, we're gonna come into a child's pose. So leaving the knees a little bit wider on the mat, you can sit back towards the heels. You might choose to use your supports here either underneath your sitting bones or possibly underneath the chest. And then walking forward to find a little bit of a cat arch in the spine as you relax your head down either to the floor or to your supports. To make this pose even more uh, tamasic in nature, to reduce any action in the hands and arms, you might choose to swing your arms alongside the body, just less, letting your upper arms rest on your thighs and your hands just soft alongside your ankles. So whether you've chosen a supported or unsupported version of this pose, Find stillness, find heaviness, especially in the pelvis, legs, and feet. Find a heaviness in the arms and hands, heaviness at the front of the skull, and feel how much slower your breath becomes after that very active, logistic pose. Finding a balance here with more tamasic and stillness and heavy energy, feeling the solidness of this shape. We'll take about five to seven more slow, heavy breaths here. Breathe as if the air were thick.
when you come to the end of your slow tamasic breath here in our stillness in child's pose. Start to bring your hands back forward so they're more underneath your shoulders. And then just gently press up into tabletop again. We might bring the knees a little bit more neutral, hip distance or so. And then tucking the toes under the body, we're gonna find a sattvic balance again here in downward facing dog. So press into the hands, press into the feet, lift the knees. And before we find stillness, find a little bit of intentional dynamic movement to stretch out the backs of the legs to open the uh, back of the heart again at the shoulder blades, to let the head get soft and heavy. So we have active energy in the arms and legs as we tilt the pelvis up. We have active energy in the shoulders as we open the back of the heart, but we have tamasic energy in the solidness of the floor and the heaviness of the head. And we can start to move into a tamasic energy of stillness. So we have activeness and sort of slow steadiness. This is that sattvic balance of those two other extreme qualities. Let's take about two or three more breaths now that we've found our balance here in Downward Facing Dog. And then we'll allow the feet to travel back to the top of our mat so we have a forward fold, Uttanasana. And again, we're finding a sattvic balance here. Legs and feet are active. Press the toes into the floor. Kind of intentionally lift the tailbone up by pressing into the heels. So we have strong, engaged legs and a soft, loose, noodly body. So we have that heavy solidness in the legs and that airy softness in the upper body. Tamasic and rajistic energy that allows the whole pose to be more sattvic and balanced in nature. Depending on where you are with your balance and checking in with yourself in this moment, if you need a little bit more logistic energy, I would say come into a flat back and hinge up to standing. If you need a little bit more slow moving energy to balance some hyperness in your body, maybe take that slow roll up by arching into a cat shape and then rolling slowly to standing. So choosing your adventure to an upright standing place. We'll move back into a sattvic balance by just like we did before, having some active legs and feet, pressing the toes down, finding that solidness in the lower body, and then just finding a sense of lightness and airiness through the heart. Feel like your crown of your head is lifting up into the space around you. Let the arms be soft and loose. And we again have our sattvic energy, a balance. If you're wondering if we can make mountain pose or Tadasana somehow a standing pose, if we can make that more logistic in nature by bringing a lot of activity and motion and heat to it and fluidity and dynamism, we can. And the way we're going to do that is something that's become very popular in yoga practice uh, in recent years. It's called fascia bouncing. So we have this connective tissue that connects everything in our body. It goes between the muscles and bones, between the muscles and the skin, and it's wrapping all around us. And so our, it connects our feet to our shoulders and our fingertips to the crown of our head. Everything is connected through this fascia. So we're gonna start to loosen our feet, which are gripping the mat right now, softening the legs a little bit. And to make this really dynamic and fluid, we're just gonna kind of bend at the knees and bounce up and down. So you'll feel your hands and arms kind of bouncing. You can hear my voice bouncing a little bit. You can start to feel some of that tissue that connects everything. You might just gently turn the head side to side a little bit too, so the whole body is moving. Hands might even shake or kind of shaking at the wrist a little bit to let the fingers be loose and active and fluid, gaseous, formless. It's not stiff anywhere, just soft and loose everywhere as we just find this gentle but quick bouncing. This is our logistic, active energy, formless, inconsistent. And then pause again, find stillness. Deactivate your legs a little bit, but feel all the weight of your body and your feet. Start to feel that heaviness, solidness. You might even flex the fingers a little bit to create a more solid stance in the hands. 
might gently pull the shoulder blades together here to create a more solid muscle base in the back of the body. And this is our more tamasic stillness, inconsistent or consistency, a firmness to the body here. And to bring some activity in to embody these three forms of sattvic, tamasic, and rajistic energy, we'll begin with our um, uh, rajistic pose or our rajistic version. We're just going to take something familiar like a sun salutation and try it out to embody these three qualities. So this one will be really active. <laughs> And we'll probably get our blood going, but then we'll find a little bit more of stillness and rest after this. So bring your hands to your heart center. And we're gonna do this pretty quickly. I chose something familiar so you could follow along because we are gonna move fast. We're gonna do both sides of the body, right and left. And we're gonna just try to take about one breath per movement. And this is how they do it in a lot of like quick vinyasa or power vinyasa classes. So we're gonna try this quick and see what happens. So on your inhale, lift your arms. On your exhale, fold. On your inhale, lift halfway. On your exhale, fold back down. Ground through your hands, step back with your left leg. Left knee drops. Inhale, rise up in your lunge, reaching your fingertips tall. Exhale, frame your toes. Tuck your left one, step back to downward dog. We're gonna take three breaths here, but make them quick and powerful breaths. Then right leg steps forward again. We're back in our lunge. Inhale to lift. Exhale to frame your toes. Inhale, step forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hinge and reach all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. That's one round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold again. This time, right leg steps back, knee drops. Inhale, reach up, exhale, frame. Step back to your downward facing dog. Three quick, powerful breaths here. <sighs> Left leg steps forward again, drop your knee. Inhale, reach up, exhale, frame. Inhale, step forward. In, uh, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale, fold. Inhale, hinge all the way up, reaching tall into the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Oh, take a moment here. Catch your breath. This is logistic energy. It's powerful because we can get a lot of things done in a short time when we're in the flow with logistic energy. But sometimes it can make us anxious. So again, each of these qualities has its benefits and its consequences. <laughs> so just kind of catch your breath for a moment. We're gonna find the exact opposite of that and flow through a very tamasic, slow, stable, and steady um, sun salutation now. So take a nice slow breath in and slowly like you're moving through liquid reach up. As you exhale, take a slow dive forward into your forward fold. Slow breath in as we rise. Push your tailbone back and your crown forward. Take a couple of breaths here in this shape. Find stability, lengthen, firm up all of your muscles. Kind of find that solid quality in your body. Then on an exhale, soften back down into your fold. Planting your palms. Step back slowly with that left leg. Left knee comes to the floor, feel the grounded, solid nature of that. This time as you inhale, we're just gonna press against the thigh so we're nice and solid. Engage through your shoulders and back. Stiffen your spine as you reach up. Feel the heaviness of your pelvis lowering down towards the floor again. A few breaths here. Be as solid and still and stable as you can, especially feeling your right foot grounding and gripping the floor. Good. Next, exhale, come to framing your toes. Take a nice slow um, walk back to your downward facing dog. We're gonna take our three breaths here, but long, slow, steady breaths. 
activate and, and make your muscles nice and solid here, especially through the feet and legs. Feel the grounding of hands and feet here. One more super slow inhale and exhale. Then slow and steady. We're gonna bring the um, right foot forward again. Dropping our left knee. Inhale, press against your thigh. Just take about two slow, stable breaths here. Get really solid in all your muscles. Then reaching down again to frame your toes. Take a nice slow step forward with that left foot. Coming into our Uttanasana forward fold. Stabilize and strengthen and solidify your legs. And then just get really lazy in your upper body. No effort at all here. Next inhale, fill up your cat back arching and then take a so slow as if moving through a thick liquid, roll your way back to standing. It might take several breaths to arrive fully upright. Bring your hands back to your heart. Let's move to the other side of the body now, nice and slow, moving through that thick liquid, reach up. Exhale, take that slow motion swan dive down back into Uttanasana. This time our right foot is going to step back nice and slow. Right knee drops down, get solid and grounded through your left foot and your right knee. On your next inhale, bring your hands to your thigh, press in, lift and solidify your muscles and your upper body. Let your pelvis get heavy and low towards the floor. Feel the solid weight in your left foot. Take two more slow breaths here. Still solid and grounded to masic energy. When you're ready, frame your toes again and we'll take that slow motion stepping back into downward facing dog. Three breaths here, making the body, especially the arms and legs, really solid in our muscles. Pressing into the floor, feeling that grounding energy, that stillness energy. At the end of that third breath, we're gonna left foot step forward again, coming back into that little lunge. Inhale, slow, press into your thigh, solidify your muscles, heavy in the pelvis. One more complete, long, slow inhale here. Then exhale to frame your toes, moving through that slow, thick liquid. Step your right foot forward to meet the left. Find your fold again here. Then inhale into the back cat body and then slow roll, very slow. Several breaths to arrive fully upright. Notice the engagement of your legs that's required to take this slow movement. So we're solid there. Then stretch out your fingers. Kind of solid in the arms, solid in the upper body now. Deep stillness. So before we move into balance, just kind of note within yourself <laughs> which of those was more pleasant, which was more unpleasant, and each person will probably have a very different answer depending on your personality and your natural energetic flow. Maybe both were unpleasant because one was too fast and one was too slow or something like that. So just noticing how those two types of energy made you feel. And then we'll try to find a little bit more uh, balanced sattvic flow through this familiar uh, series. If you have a favorite sun salutation, 
feel free to take that variation. But we're just gonna take maybe two breaths or three breaths per pose. We'll find a mix of both stillness and dynamic action. So on your inhale, sweep your arms up again. Exhale, take a dive forward. Maybe pause here, solid through the legs and shake out the upper body. Take an inhale, find your flat back. Exhale and fold. Left leg steps back and left knee drops. Right foot is grounded. Pelvis is heavy, that's that tamasic energy, but we have a lightness and lift through the heart. Maybe the arms open wide and even find some sort of movement, sort of formlessness. So we have both qualities here. On an exhale, frame your right toes, step your body back into downward facing dog. Feel free to take some movement here if you like, maybe lifting one leg and then the other. Feel free to have a little micro cat cow or movement so we have both solidness and groundedness in the feet, but a little bit of that dynamism of registic energy. Stepping forward this time with our left leg. So we'll do both sides in this one uh, round. That way we're a little bit more balanced. Right knee is dropped. Feel the heaviness in your pelvis, that groundedness in your left foot. And then feel airiness, spaciousness, and formlessness in your upper body. Again, feeling free to find maybe some movement here in the arms. On an exhale, frame your left toes and step forward, finding your forward fold, grounded and solid through your legs, but soft, loose, and maybe wiggling through the upper body here as it hangs, finding that balance between tamas and rajas to find sattvic balance. On an inhale, find your flat back again, lengthening, Exhale and fold. You can either come back into your flat back and hinge up, or you can take a roll, but take a little bit faster if you roll up. So we have more of a liquid nature. And then find the legs and feet grounded and solid. Maybe press the toes into the floor, but find a looseness and a softness in the upper body, more of that airy nature. Balance. Hands might even come back to heart center here. Just take a couple of breaths. We did our balance last, partly because I wanted us to feel the qualities of rajas and tamas that are required to make sattvic balance happen. It's important to remember that while tamas and rajas are more extreme, they have both positive and negative attributes. So it's not that one is better or worse than the other. It's just simply that they are not in balance with one another. And that's what we're always trying to find. This is symbolized in um, Buddhism and Taoism by the yin yang, how each element contains the other, and that wholeness does not rely on just activity or just stillness, that we need a balance of both. In yoga practice, we call this sira sukham asanam. This is the description in the Yoga Sutras that talks about the balance between effort and ease, the balance between stability and strength and flexibility and fluidity in the body. So even yoga requires us to find this Taoist or Buddhist balance between things. We're going to start to come back towards the floor now. So we can just bend at the knees, catch yourself with your hands, let your sitting bones come down to the floor. And we're going to move into a stillness pose um, for our resting pose. And I'd like for you again to just kind of check in. This is a little svidyaya, self-awareness moment. Um, think about how much energy you've used, how these different attributes of these poses felt for you today, and to decide whether what you need to rest in a tam uh, is tamasic energy, more of a registic energy, or more sattvic balance. We're gonna to try to find both. Um, maybe for tamasic energy, 
you might like to have a little bit more support so you can disengage a little bit more. Maybe Tomasic energy means you have more solid floor below you. Registic energy might be kind of quickening the pace of the breath to sort of clear out the body, some deep, long, or some quick, long ex exhales to kind of like force out any stale or stagnant energy. <sighs> and then eventually we're gonna try to come into a balance with both of these qualities. So finding whatever support is most useful to you. And beginning to move into that sattvic balance of our active practice with a deep rest. Feel your breath finding its balance now, effortless, but being intentional, remembering that that was one of the qualities of that balance was effortless movement, but intentional movement. So let your breath be both effortless but also intentional by keeping your attention on that flow of breath. Feel the balance between inhale and exhale. This type of breathing is called sama vritti. It means moving together. And so we have this balance of inhale and exhale. Sometimes in yoga, we breathe out longer than we inhale. Sometimes we breathe in a really long time and then have a forceful active exhale. But we're gonna to try to find that easy balance of equal length breath, promoting that sattvic energy.
as you rest here in stillness, you connect to the aspect of tamasic energy, that rest or sleep or inertia quality. But even as we take this resting time or this stillness, our heart is still beating. Our breath is still flowing. There is still activity in the mind. That more logistic nature. And so we find in this meditation pose, sattvic balance. We'll start to focus a little bit more on logistic energy by beginning to deepen the breath. Maybe our breath becomes a little shorter and quicker. Maybe we feel that awareness and active mind beginning to scan the body, noticing uh, sensations, and then beginning to respond to those sensations through gentle sattvic movements of the hands and feet, maybe the head. Not too fast, not too slow, just beginning to reawaken the body to that sattvic balance of awareness, intentional action, and also a sense of rest and ease. We'll take just a few more logistic actions here. When the time feels right for you to move a little bit more, start to stretch your body in some way. Maybe it's long toes to fingertips. Maybe it's wide out in a big X shape as you reach all of your limbs outward from center, but be active about it. Use each muscle, even flexing the muscles of the face. Just hold that for a few cycles of breath, that active energy. Then start to soften and release your muscles. Roll to one side and pause there, letting all the muscles be soft and relaxed, feeling yourself heavy against the floor, finding stillness, that more tamasic energy. When you feel connected to that tamasic energy, when, you feel, when it feels familiar to you. Begin to balance your action and inactivity by slowly and gently, intentionally rising back up to your seat. And just like we did in our standing poses, we'll start to feel the heaviness of our legs and feet and pelvis, that downward pull of energy, that solidness below the navel. And we'll bring that into balance by feeling that open spaciousness through the heart and that lifting of the crown up into the open space all around us. That more logistic, airy quality, bringing our whole body into balance. Bring your palms together at your heart center, one hand tamasic, the other hand logistic, and just bringing those together to find that sattvic balance and drawing that balance into your heart center. Chin can softly drop towards the chest. And we'll take this sattvic mindset, this balanced mindset, and turn it inward on the self, being able to see both the positive and negative attributes of tamas, positive and negative attributes of rajas, and also seeing those same positive and negative qualities in the self to acknowledge the self as a balanced being, keeping our awareness on all aspects of the self that we might bring anything that falls out of balance, either too fast or too slow, too active, too inactive. We can start to find the balance of sattva and bring that into each aspect of our lives. As we find our own balance, we begin to shift the energy uh, of those around us and the space and activities and relationships around us, making our own work, our own spiritual work, an act of service, not only to the self, but to all other beings. And so we close our practice with this prayer. 
loka samasta sukino bhavantu may all beings be happy healthy safe and free namaste